You got a notice for Twitch? Yep. Oh yeah, the first one you was talking about was First Assault? Nah, yeah. uh, First Assault. I would put on the bottom tier because like he said, um, what if you missed your first shot? Well, you can reload your weapon again. You don't always have time or even think about reloading just so your, you know what I mean, so your first shot can do double damage. That's just like, it's a lot of um, unnecessary movement, unnecess unnecessary planning and strategizing just to get double damage. Or I don't even say double. It says bonus damage. We don't even know how much of a bonus. bonus. It don't tell you how much of a bonus. What, is, what, if, it's, what if it's only a 25% bonus or 50 million? That's, That's not nothing. So... With that being said, this is probably one of the worst yeah, augments for combat. What if they come up with angler in that or balloon? But you can reroll. You can reroll one right. time for free. Yeah. Or if you got a lot of gold, a lot of people carry a lot of gold, so you can reroll again for a hundred gold. Yeah, I got four thousand. You got four thousand gold, so you can reroll again until you find the augment that you want. Moving on after that, you got re rifle recycle. Using weapons, excuse me, excuse me, weapons using medium ammo have a chance to not consume ammo. Pistol? Who carrying a pistol? Medium? Uh, that's light, ain't it? Pistol is light ammo. Medium would what? Medium would be your, uh, your ARs. Or SMGs. SMGs is light ammo. Uh, pistols and SMGs use light ammo. Your ARs use medium ammo. And the, uh, the big, the long would be your, uh, yeah, your heavy. I mean, for your heavy, it will be your, uh, you know, your sniper rifles and things like that. Oh yeah, DMR use medium, but it says it has a chance to not consume ammo, so it has a chance also to consume ammo, meaning that it's not guaranteed. So with that not being a guarantee, I think I will put that right there with the first assault as not one of the best augments to choose because you don't even know for sure if you're getting what you're choosing. It's a chance it may happen, and it's a chance it may not. So out of the combat augments, I'm gonna put uh, out of the combat augments, I'm gonna put first assault and rifle recycle down on the bottom tier. Now bow specialists, I'm the type of person that like to carry bows. Yeah, too, right? you, you carry bows too? Fires. You get maybe a shotway sometimes because you say you like shotway. I like hold up, man. Any gang, knock them into the store so they was fighting, and you far away. See, I don't. Start, they don't know what's coming. You I don't do the shockwave bow. You can knock them and start it. Boom! They go. My Ooh. first, my number one favorite bow would be the flame bow. I like the flame bow. On the and then number, no. See, I go to the stink bow. I go to stink bow before explosive. Explosive. That's just me. I like the stink uh -huh. bow. Uh, the explosive bow for me doesn't seem to. I don't know. Maybe I don't have good aim. I don't know, but it don't work as well for me. Grappler trash. I don't use the grappler bow at all, and. I also don't want I don't want the shockwave bow. I killed somebody with a dog kept grappling the ass. Uh, the grappling bow. <laughs> but uh, bow specialist is one of the best augments for me because I carry bows. Uh, actually, for me, to be honest, I gotta say there is no worst or best augments. All these augments should be combined with other ones to fit your play style and you know go along with the way you like to move around the map uh you're only allowed to use four augments per match if you guys didn't know you only get four they're not going to give you after you get your fourth they're not going to offer you anymore so you need to combine you got to find the four that fits your play style best and if so then always keep gold on you just like stack up your gold so that whenever you get uh offered augments you have the option to re-roll and get other you know what i mean get another choice you never re-roll I re-roll a lot if I don't like the two options they're giving me and I know there's stuff out there I want because there's certain combinations I want to put together. So you can uh, combine both specialists, mechanical archer. Those are two good combinations, right? There. One good combination right there. Now, here's one that's one of my favorites. Demolitions, munitions. Objects you destroy have a chance to drop explosive. Excludes player-built structures. Now, all you got to do is knock, like uh, break down fences, walls, crates, grill it could be a dog house sitting there just break it up and there's a chance i say like it's a 20 percent chance you're going to get some rockets or some grenades that's why i like that augment because i i could roll around with 12 grenades seriously give me a a, a mad miss 12 grenades an ar and a shotgun and i can roll with that because you don't need good aim with grenades you just need to throw three or four of them in somebody's direction and there's a good chance you're about to hit them. For me, it happens more than it doesn't. 
So I like Demolition's munitions. And also, you'll see what we got here. Light fingers. Weapons using light ammo reload faster. Now. Yeah, uh, it's similar to another one. Uh, but this one, I like to combine with pistol amp. Pistol amp means pistols have a greatly increased magazine size. Now, whenever you activate this augment, you should immediately reload your pistol because it's going to give you like an extra, uh, I think, eight. It's like an extra 10 to 8 rounds inside your clip now. I think before it holds 17, now it holds like 27 or, or 30 or something like that. But if you can. Pistols. You, now, come up? I use pistols. That purple pistol is probably from like my second favorite gun in the game this season. Like a shotgun almost. Yeah, um, and it's a uh, rapid fire also. So if you have a pistol with a large magazine, and you know pistols already reload fast, so if you put light fingers on there, where they reloads even faster, and it has a, a larger clip, those that, that that's how you combine two augments that would like help you just breeze. I mean, like a battle will be so easy for you when you get when I get light fingers and pistol amp together, that makes me want to just use uh, the strongest pistol I can find—a purple or a gold pistol if I can get if I can get one. And I'm Gucci from there. Now, rushing reload, sprinting will slowly reload your equipped shotgun. I try to use this one and see if it works, but it never actually works for me. Or sometimes my shotgun is already full, so I don't even get a chance to see if that works. But I got to tell you, that's not even worth it. That's not worth it because it's not hard to reload your shotgun without it. I can see if it was hard to reload your shotgun, but it's not hard to reload your shotgun. So why do I need a whole augment to help me do that? No, just your shotgun. Sprinting will slowly reload your equipped shotgun. That's what rushing reload does. I, just got that. I don't even use all of them. I just got it just to fill out my thing. I only use certain ones. I like balloons. Even though I don't. We're going to get to that. <laughs> now, the final combat augment is tactical armory, where it grants you a rare tactical AR and a combat shotgun. If I decide to use this augment, I only take this combat shotgun, rare tactical AR behind, unless I have no AR. If I have no AR or, you know what I mean, or I really needed a, a long range weapon, then I'll take it. But usually I rather roll with any of the other uh, ARs that are already in the game without using that uh, tactical AR because it's very hard to aim and it doesn't do much damage. Now, moving on to the game changer augments. There's only two and I like both of them. There's only two and I like both of them. Uh, one is Aerialist. Aerialist, it gives you the ability to deploy your glider, meaning that you're never stuck in a high area. No matter where you are, you can just jump Tap X or no, no, actually not tap X. If you're on Xbox, it's tap A or if you're on computer, it's tap whatever button you've assigned to it. But you can deploy your glider and land safely wherever you want to, no matter what. And also, if you're trying to get out of the storm, this is another great thing to help you glide, get out of the storm and help you get back to the circle faster. Aerolist is a great augment to uh, combine with soaring sprints. Actually, they have, this, they have this in Game Changer Augments, but this should be in Mobility. That's where Aerial is. It should be down here with Mobility. Because I combine that with uh, Soaring Sprints, and that means any with Soaring Sprints, so you're not speaking to the chat? No, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, but if you playing on video mode with that shit, you go jump and feel so, so high so quick, right oh, right that you can just go ahead and glide out of there with soaring sprints you jump with soaring sprints you jump much higher with low gravity while sprinting so you know with basically that zero gravity you yeah. run fast you can jump and then with arrow you can just deploy your glider yeah, you can build and coast now if you're going to do party time with those balloons I suggest you have arrow because if your balloons pop you want to be able to deploy your glider. So I'll probably only take party time if I can take, if I have aerial list to combine with it because party time is kind of dangerous if you don't have aerial, aerial list. Now here is one of the augments I never, ever, ever choose. More parkour. Your energy, your energy regenerates briefly after mantling or hurtling. Briefly. All right, you use up all your energy then you go like... Then you just hurdle something. Yeah, 
getting that back. Man, it's just not my thing. I don't know. I think I wore that. What the circle had somewhere with a lot of shit around. You I mean, gates and fences and jump off. Considering you only get four, fence. you only get four augments per match. I don't want to use one on more parkour. I'm never going to use one on that. Until I knew that you only got four, I probably would have tried it out. But now that I know that you only get four, I'm not doing it. Supercharged. Vehicles you're inside do not consume fuel and have increased health. Now, this is a great augment to combine with tricked out. Let's say it's a match where you want to uh, visit six name locations in a single match. Well, getting supercharged and tricked out combined will help you do that very easily because now you can just hop into any car and it's going to have off-road tires and a cow catcher on the front if you have tricked out and with supercharged you won't consume any uh vehicle no fuel, no fuel i mean excuse me you won't consume <laughs> any you won't consume any fuel <laughs> and your vehicle will have increased health meaning you can probably take a lot gasoline but it doesn't matter if your vehicle takes a lot of shots because now you can just hop out and hop into another car and keep going you have all the same uh amenities at your disposable in your next car because you have these two augments activated so going with supercharged and tricked out together is also a great combination storm mark when the storm changes ping the area to highlight nearby enemies for a short duration i wish you highlighted all the uh, chest and ammo boxes too but it will tell you if there's an en enemy in your area whenever the uh storm marks so um I like it, and it does. That is a great in-game yeah. augment to have also because sometimes at the end of a game, you don't know where your enemy's hiding. I'm going to be a bush with you, so. Yeah. Bush. So this is a great, uh, I, I, would, I would consider this one of the better uh, augments to use. Also, forecast. You can always see the next storm circle. Uh, this is good for solos, but even better for squads. So that everybody can be headed towards the same area in the same time. I mean, uh, in solos, it's not as important to me. Everybody see that? Because everybody's going to go. Huh? Everybody see that? I know that. He's talking about Storm Broker. Oh, no. Uh, everybody can't see it, but you can relay it oh. to the rest of your squad. In solos, uh, like I said, me, personally, I don't think forecast really helps me out that much in solos. It doesn't. It really doesn't. Uh, people camp a lot in solos. <coughs> Because if I know where the, the, that circle will be, I'm going to get there first. And I'm just capping that. Right. Three circles ahead. I'm just chilling right there. If I'm but spot. And I ain't you're the it. type of player that likes to hang around the edge of the storm. Right. <laughs> right where the storm meets it. So you, right. So the forecast don't help you because you're not trying to go to the middle. No, you, like. Bush warrior. You generate health and partial shield while inside of large foliage, like a pile of leaves or a big bush. Uh, it will push your green health all the way up to 100, and it will push your shield all the way up to 50 what just by chilling storm? in the bush. What if you're in a storm, I ain't tried that yet. If you're in a storm, it, also, it works there also. How long? Oh, as long as you sit in there. But if you're sitting still, then you're still in the storm. And eventually that storm is going to become a five tick, and you're going to have to leave. Yeah, but... But you want to know if you can chill in the storm and outlast yeah. your opponents? Yeah. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if you can just chill in the storm and win the match. I don't think they will put something in the game like that. But we can try it. We can get in the game and try it and see what happens. Party time. Gain balloons over time. We talked about that. That is a dangerous augment, guys. Uh, you have to jump in the air to release one of your balloons. And sometimes they pop up at a time when you don't want them to. Uh, uh, and... And you can't control, you can't always control your mobility while you're floating with them. So if you're floating slowly, you're you're not a moving target. You're a slowly moving target that can't stop moving without releasing your balloons. You release your balloons, you fall and die. So you need aerialist. You're going to need aerialist to combine with party time or else you're going to die. The last of the mobility augments are, why is this, a mo oh, mobility and scouting, excuse me. The last of the mobility and scouting augments is Bloodhound. Enemies hit by your marksman rifle or bow shots are marked for a brief duration. I like Bloodhound. It comes in handy. I like to uh, carry DMRs and bows. So usually when I shoot you, it marks you for the rest of my squad. And they know exactly where you are. And they come get you. They come kill you. Looting augments. These are the last two. Uh, you got Splash Medic. You have a chance to find Chug Splashes in every container you open. 
that's a good augment. I've used it on many occasions, and it does help me load up on uh, Chuck's. I'm mean, not not Chuck's flashes, but uh, what's that called? The uh, it is Chuck's flash. Yeah, it helps you load up on Chuck's flash, and those are the fastest way to rebuild uh, your health. If you guys didn't know, fish. huh? Fish. fish? Fish is way better than but fish only do health. Splash do health and shield. So if, if I could carry, okay. I, I would. I would rather right. carry a bunch of fish. Like let me carry four right, fish and six splash, and I'm cool. Fish, right? Yeah. And health, right? That shield fish only gonna give you shield. Right. Where the fish gonna give you your health? I need something. Or you got, you know, it's gonna. If I had, a, I, I mean, fish give you, you what? I, I think fish give you what? Seventy five. Seventy five health. I, that orange fish? Yeah, I think I thought only you seventy five health. I don't be that low anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that orange the, the flopper gives you seventy five. Yeah, orange flopper. Like, yeah, man, that's the shit. But they took them challenges out for fish. I don't even fish no more. Yeah, there's no point in fishing unless you want to get a weapon. Uh, the last augment would be jelly wrangler. Oh, excuse me, jelly angler. <laughs> jelly angler. Uh, I've never ever ever chosen this augment. And I see that it says you receive a fishing rod and you can use it to fish anywhere, but you can only fish up jellyfish. And what Luke told me is that when it says anywhere, it means anywhere. You can fish on grass and you can pull a jellyfish up and get you some shield, like no matter where you are. So now that I know that, I I may choose that augment and instead of uh, carrying meds, you know, you can just get Splash Medic and Jelly Angler. You get both of those augments. You get both of those augments, you don't have to carry meds. I can just carry you know, the weapons you like. Just keep one slot open for your uh, see, for your fishing rod. That, that rod I never see that always says free. <laughs> oh, the, the re-roll? Yeah. You never paid attention to it? I did it one time, and I, I spent all this money. I had like what I said. I'm like, I seen the same thing. Yeah, ooh. God damn it, how much did I spend? <laughs> like, there you go. I spent like a thousand re rolling, like, never again. <laughs> like, I didn't notice it said free. <laughs> like, so after so, that, it's a hundred dollars. So that's it, guys. That's all the augments, and I discuss which ones I think are worth it and which ones are not. You can go ahead and make your decision on it. In my opinion, there are no best or worst augments. It's all about It's all about your play style and how you want to move around the map and how you want to kill people. But until uh, the ne- until the next time, I got something for you. It's been me, your boy E.C. Rallo, and I'm out. Thank you. Come again.